It's pizza. I knew it was pizza because I knew it was pizza. <laughs> I knew it was pizza because it looked a lot like pizza. Today we are making barbecue mushroom pizza. If you, like me, are a child of suburbia and you have deep, beautiful, fond memories of California Pizza Kitchen, you are aware of the barbecue chicken pizza. It is a perfect food. And this is a version that is vegetarian. It is one of the fastest ways that you can get pizza on the table at home. First things first is we're gonna prep our dough. It has to bake for about five minutes all by itself before you load it up with toppings so that it doesn't get soggy. You gotta oil your pan a little bit. I'm just gonna use my hands to rub it around the bottom and then a little bit up the sides. Getting a little bit of oil on my hands is a good thing because it's gonna help me work with the dough. A lot of grocery stores will sell you fresh dough like this, or you can go to your local pizza place and they will often sell you dough in a container like this or a bag with some oil at the base. So you want the dough to be room temperature. This is a little chilly still, but it's gonna work fine. When it's room temperature, it's more relaxed and ready to spread. And when it's cold, it's gonna shrink back up from the sides. If it's super elastic, you can just press it into all the corners of your pan. Or if you need a little bit more heavy duty work, you can get your hands underneath. I like to like turn it back and forth like this and just let gravity do the work of stretching it out. If your dough tears, it's actually totally fine. You can just squeeze the tear together and patch it back up. See, I've got a little hole here. No problem. Pinch that baby shut. No one's the wiser. All right, I think we're good. So we preheated our oven to 475 and we're just gonna toss this bad boy in there for about five minutes to jumpstart the process. That was our oven telling us that it's preheated. We got new ovens and they sing now. I love them. We're mostly round. We feel good about ourselves. And now we're gonna go into that. So the crust is in the oven, about five minutes. I'm de-oiling my hands. And now we can prep all of our toppings. First things first, a fun plate of mushrooms. You can use all cremini button mushrooms for this if you want, all shiitake mushrooms. But a fun mix is nice, especially because like these frilly edges on like a trumpet or an oyster or a maitake get nice and like crispy frilly in the oven and that's really delightful. You just want big hunks. The mushrooms are gonna shrink in the oven. So anything too small kind of just like shrinks into a crispy nothingness, which will taste delightful, but in terms of having like a fun visual of mushrooms, you want bigger pieces. So we are tearing our shrooms up and then we're gonna dress them with a little bit of olive oil. And that's just gonna help us when we load them onto the pizza, it's gonna help promote browning the same way that you would drizzle vegetables with olive oil before you roast them on a sheet pan, we're doing the same thing. Mushrooms in general are quite meaty and they make a really great meat substitute. I think that's why Mushrooms make such a great pizza topping in general. Oh, I didn't get any of these weirdos. I'm gonna keep them like with their hats on because that's a fun little look. All right, time to go pull that dough. Perfect. It's like just set on the top and that is gonna be perfect to load up all of our toppings. Letting the crust sit for a second while we prep the rest of our toppings. Just gonna drizzle our mushrooms with a little bit of olive oil. All right, we'll set that aside. Then we're gonna prep our onion. We just wanna thinly slice this bad boy. If you have like a half onion or a quarter onion sitting in your fridge, don't need a ton. Unless you're like a big onion gal, in which case like live your life. You just want like that little pop of all yummy sweetness happening on there. It's a classic barbecue chicken pizza addition, the red onion. Again, we're probably not gonna use all of this. For cheese, we'll just tear the mozzarella as we're topping, but the gouda we wanna grate. Again, this is smoked gouda. It smells so specific, like processed, smoky cheese, dairy flavor, but in the best way. Barbecue sauce is already like a little sweet and smoky, obviously with like all of the spices and the flavors that are inside of it. And this smoked gouda just kind of dials that up. And now we are ready to load up our za. Our dough has cooked for its five minutes. We have prepped all the ingredients and now all that's left is to pile everything on. Barbecue sauce, use whatever you have. We're just gonna use the back of a spoon to spread our sauce 
all over the za and leave yourself a little crust. Or don't. That's the thing about this is like, you can just sauce it all the way to the very edge because part of what's fun about a pan pizza is it kind of doesn't need there to be like a distinctive crust. So I'm gonna get pretty close to edges here. And then we're gonna do cheese. Gonna start with our ginormous ball of mozzarella. God, it makes me so happy to tear this with my hands. <sighs> Ugh. Okay, we're working with our hands here. You want like pretty full cheese coverage. Nobody's like, I wish this pizza had less cheese. And then just fill in all the gaps with your Gouda. Some onion. I'm gonna go pretty heavy on the onion. I think it provides a really nice contrast of flavor with all the like richness going on here with our cheese. And then shroom time. I'm gonna get pretty heavy duty. Again, they shrink in the oven, so you don't have to be scared about full seeming coverage of mushrooms. Wow, we're gonna make this one look like it's growing out of the pizza. Perfect. So we're gonna use all of that. Poke some onion through so we make sure we get a little bit of everybody in every bite. And then I'm also gonna just take a tiny bit of cheese on top. Everything needs to be seasoned with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. It's fully loaded. We're gonna bake this bad boy for 16 to 20 minutes and then we're gonna broil it so that the top gets super crispy. In we go. It's looking really nice. Crisping around the edges. You can see the mushrooms are starting to crisp. The cheese is bubbling. We are just gonna turn on the broiler now Make sure it's in the center underneath the heating element so it gets the full strength of that power. Broiling is usually a quick endeavor, especially if you've already melted the cheese. All you're doing is browning it and crisping it at the end. All right. This mushroom portions are super crispy. We've got this bubbly, juicy, cheesy bit. We're nice and brown around the edges. I think it looks great. So we're just gonna finish it off with a little bit more barbecue sauce. We just put a little bit of barbecue sauce in a bag and then we're gonna nip off the end, make it look cute, make it look like they do it at CPK. And then we're gonna finish with some cilantro over the top for freshness. Not being shy with the cilantro is a good move here because everything else is rich, smoky and cheesy and melty. So something green, something bright and fresh is a nice thing to include. And then I'm gonna do a sprinkling of red pepper flakes on at the end. I am a big like sprinkle red pepper flakes over your slice type of gal. And there you have it, barbecue mushroom pizza. I'm gonna use a fish spatula to help me loosen all the cheesy bits. And then we're just gonna slide, woo! Hell yeah! Look at these crispy edges. I'm just gonna slice it all up, you know? Why not? Get ready for a party. Oh yeah. It smells like barbecue sauce. It smells really smoky and a little sweet, which is really nice. See, so, do you wanna come eat some pizza? Uh, what a day to be alive. There's some fun little crispy bits on the edges. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. Mm. The barbecue sauce plus the mushrooms is like very meaty. Yeah. Like it feels very substantial. Mm -hmm. And I like also like the, like the base is very well cooked too. The red onion, the oozy cheese, it's perfect. Oh good. I'm taking this with me. You can. Have a nice day. Okay, have a nice day. <laughs> Yum. This is a great pizza to make if you want dinner on the table quick, but you also want it to feel substantial without any of the effort that comes with cooking meat for dinner, I think this is absolutely your move. Pizza party success.